kinetics and equilibrium of a unimolecular chemical reaction. Here we have a single chemical reaction transforming a substance S into a substance P and this is a reversible chemical reaction that is governed by two rate constants K1 and K2. We are going to simulate several uh, instances of this reaction at different values of the constants. First we start with the simplest case where we have set the concentrations of S and P to be equal to 1 at the beginning of the reaction and we are also setting the two kinetic constants K1 and K2 both to the value of 1 and so we expect the system to be in equilibrium. We run the task and we see the concentrations of S and P both displayed here although overlaying each other are both equal to 1 and they do stay equal to 1 all of the time. Similarly the reaction rate is exactly 0 and it's 0 throughout all of the time of the simulation. So the system is in equilibrium. So now let's increase the value of the rate constant K1 making the forward reaction faster than the backward reaction. We're going to increase it to a value of 10 which we do by using this slider here. And now we see the reaction takes place. The product which is the red line increases, eventually stops. The substrate which is the blue line decreases and eventually stops. The rate of reaction starts with a high value and as the reaction progresses becomes smaller and smaller until at some point it becomes zero. If we see what happens is that at the end after a while the reaction stops and the system achieves equilibrium. You can see this by the rate becoming zero or by the concentrations becoming constant. Now let's change the value of K1 to a value that is smaller than K2 which means that we will have the backward reaction faster than the forward reaction. We adjust the slider to point 0.1 and now we see the reaction goes the other way around. So now the product concentration, the red line, is decreasing while the product while the substrate concentration the blue line is increasing so we have the reaction going backwards we can also see this by the rate of the reaction which starts negative although with a small value and slowly increases to become zero I said increases but in fact it is decreasing the absolute value so the reaction becomes slower, however in this case, after two units of time, two seconds in this case, we have not yet achieved equilibrium. So the reaction is slower, which is demonstrated by the fact that here the rate of reaction starts with the value of minus 0.9. Whereas in the previous situation, which we will do again, when K1 is equal to 10, the reaction starts with the forward rate forward net rate which is fairly large which is close to value of 9. Thus the system in this case achieves equilibrium much faster whereas in the other case not only is the reaction going backwards but because the absolute rates are smaller the system is now progressing a lot slower. And this was kinetics and equilibrium of a unimolecular chemical reaction.